team is excited to announce the release of 2.50, our most flexible and scalable version of SurveyCTO yet. Alongside great new features and platform improvements, we've simplified our subscription model, so you no longer have to worry about how to choose the right plan. In this video, I'll show you how to add a team to your subscription. But first, what is a team? A team is a set of users who need separate, secure access to their own forms and data. Each team gets their own secure area on your server for data collection work. And so using Teams, you have complete control over which users get access to what. Now let's see how to add a team. Before you can configure a new team on your server, you'll need to make sure your subscription level supports more than one team. You can do this from the Manage Subscription page. Just click on Add, Remove Teams, then simply choose the number of teams you need from the drop-down menu. Now review and confirm your new subscription, noting that SurveyCTO is priced per team. Each team comes with 5,000 submissions per month, which can be shared among all your teams. In our new subscription model, all other usage limits have been removed, meaning that everything else is unlimited. Now that the subscription has been updated to support multiple teams, it's time for step two, configuring your teams. This is done right from the Configure tab of your SurveyCTO console. To construct your teams, it only takes three easy steps. Create the team, configure roles, and finally assign users. Now let's create a team. You'll start back in the Configure tab and click on Add Team, and then the Next button. Now you'll give your team a name, and you'll notice that SurveyCTO automatically generates a unique ID. In this section, you can even include an internal reference, like a budget code, for example to better organize and manage your teams. This code will be included anytime you download usage reports. Now put your team into a group. On a multi-team server, each team has a team group, in addition to whatever shared groups are defined for the server. You can either create a new group or choose from an existing group from the drop-down menu. Now that you've successfully created your team, you'll want to configure your user roles by clicking Next. Creating and assigning roles is how you control which users have which level of access to which forms and datasets. 2.50 allows you to seamlessly copy four standard user roles to your team. If you don't wish to include a particular user role in your team, unclick the box next to the title and that role will be excluded. For those roles you do wish to include, review and modify each role's name, ID, and description. Then assign the level of access each role has to the shared groups from the drop-down menu. Repeat this step for all user roles, and when satisfied with your configuration, click Next. You also have the option to modify custom or multi-team roles already on your server. You can define your criteria to search through existing roles, choose the role you want to add to your new team, and then assign the appropriate access from the drop-down menu before clicking Next. Now that the team and roles have been configured, the last step is to invite users for each role. To do that, click on Invite New Users. With SurveyCTO, there is no limit on the number of users you can include, so add as many email addresses as you need, adding a comma to separate each, and then click Send Invitations. With 2.50, you can also assign existing users new roles. You can do this by first choosing the specific user role, then clicking on the Migrate Existing Users button, and selecting which email addresses you want to migrate. Once you select a user, he or she will be removed from their old role and assign this new role instead. Click Migrate User to confirm the role change, and Next to complete the last step in configuring your teams. And that's it! Your team has been successfully configured and you're now ready to collect data. If you ever need to modify teams, roles, or users, all of this can be done on the Configure tab under the appropriate section. As always, thank you for your support of SurveyCTO, and keep a lookout for our next videos.